Screw you, Larry. Screw you, Larry. What did you ever do for us? Except for edit everything. Yeah, seriously. I hear you. Can you flip it off a second? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I forgot. Okay. So we're playing Final Fantasy. Get the. Get the I got a heal rod. Back. What the fuck? Throw. Going? Fuck you, heal rods. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> oh, I had a magic. I think I only have a reskin of an enemy you just met for the first time, like 10 times. Pretty sure ago. we just fought this enemy. Well, maybe when this is supposed to be like Australia. It's like, all the enemies look the same. Yeah. Like, what? All the enemies look the same. That's not how Australia looks. Well, it's, I mean, what I'm saying is, is they, they're from a, like their own... Genetic! Um, you know, um... Racist? You, you know, I'm talking about the animals in Australia. There's like unique animals to Australia that have their own variations, like all the different kinds of kangaroos and shit like that that aren't anywhere else. Yeah. They have their own genetic strains. Yeah, but why does this mean that they all just recall it the same thing? Because, because, because uh, elsewhere, these animals don't exist. The amethyst things don't exist. That's true. Uh, but just like Australia, there's like a bunch of like subspecies, like... Like, don't pretend you don't understand the, that Australians... The uh, Australians... Uh, well, get, the, get the fuck back here, you little brat! She's running around here having no problem. She must be like level 70 of experience or something like that. I know. Oh, she's wearing Because like she's a an intrinsically, like, d weak character. Mm hmm She's a being of weak character and personality, is what I'm saying. What I, I'm saying something pretty simple here. What I'm saying is, is that these guys are weak against magic, but very strong against physical attacks. That's what I'm saying here. Yes, that's true. Oh, yeah, this is like the only spell he knows. Well, then I will rake them. Woo! Rakest. I know, right? I'm such a rake. There's a reference, and it's not a reference, there's a term that hasn't been used in 300 years. <laughs> I'm bringing it back, baby! Let's bring back all the slang of the 17th century. I don't know, I might get arrested for racial slurs. Uh, why can't there be any woman drakes? Uh, be know. because women drakes don't, don't rap with quite the same swag. Yeah. I saw a it, pot. It, is Drake a rapper? Yes. Okay, good. Because <laughs> I thought, if, you know, I don't know much about him, but he was black and a celebrity. So is I was he like, black? Is he? I don't even know. I can't tell these days. They all look the same to me. <laughs> oh, oh, all humans. Yeah. All humans. All humans look the same. All humans look the same to me. What a strange voice. Are you? I'm Cuban. These guys are really strong. Like, I might die. Oh, I forgot they do that. Shit, no one person who knows life is hell. No, no, everyone knows something about life. Listen, we all live together in this crazy old um, world of ours. This, this battle is not going well. Everyone's doing magic, except for the Baskervars. They are... Baskervars. <laughs> Look! I managed to slip in a reference to all of us are traveling through this crazy old world, but some of us are babies and some of us are stupid churls. You're a churl, you're I'm a, churl. a churl, and that's a little girl. I can't remember what path I'm supposed to take. Oh God, this is like this is like from bad to much worse. It's like. I can turn you to stone if you like that. No, I'm running over here to the abolisher. Oh. I will get rid of your slavery. No. Without slavery, how? Our economic system is built primarily on unpaid labor. 
the that's the construction of our economic system we're very complicated Brandon that's ridiculous now attach those espers and get them to do your bidding that's true okay suck their energy dry and then you them to power your it's not literal slavery it's more like vampirism it's more like metaphorical slavery it's, it's more like their lamp race yeah oh slums is that slurms? Yeah. That's where they got the name. Possibly. I mean, it's possible. I mean, it's highly unlikely, but... Amneth Amnethyst. Go. Adam Chist. Adam, Adam, Adam Kitt. Is that a combination of Adam Adam Chist? And then, like... Adam Kitt? Adam Kitt? Adam... Adam yeah! Adam. Mouse learned the concept of doom. <laughs> His ah. name is Mouse. Because <laughs> the comic. Mouse. It's based, about, on, based on the Holocaust, which we all know didn't happen. Yeah, it's a comedy. You know, the Holocaust is the biggest scam of the 20th century. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because I wouldn't have gone into those camps willingly. They must have been scammed into it. Those poor, innocent people murdered by the Third Reich. I, it's such, it was just like such a massive scam perpetuated on the German people, telling them that they needed a Holocaust. What a huge scam! <laughs> the Holocaust did. I mean, it was horrifying and murder, and that's how you know it was the biggest scam in, in the 20th century. Because if it was a small scam, it wouldn't have been so bad. That's it's because of my respect for Holocaust survivors that I call it the biggest scam, uh, and not like the Ponzi scheme, which is the second biggest scam of the 20th. And World War One. World War One's the biggest. Th then the Holocaust. Then 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 Ponzi. Then um. Uh, Nigerian princes giving you money as the third most big. You know, I met a Nigerian prince and he did lend me 20 bucks once. Also, capitalism. There's been a lot of. Northern Ireland, okay. I, 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 I want to. I want to try and. I'm hoping people watch this because I've always. I've been thinking lately. I really want to bring up the fact that that the Holocaust is the biggest scam in history, and then people have to go just before they get really angry, just go, because like. The German people were tricked into thinking they need to wipe out the Jews, which were totally innocent of that. What a scam! <laughs> I like how you did the joke and then you did it again, only not- Cause it was great! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Akure kills them. That makes I, sense. I think that's why when you did it last time it didn't work. Why well, I didn't do it last time. Did you not do it last time or are you stupid? Possibly. Oh, I can hear the recycling trucks picking up the recycling outside. And I know that there's specifically this recycling I didn't take outside. Good going, Blake. You done fucked up. Am I gonna have to carry this? Is this what's happening? I've got... I've... Just... Just, just accept that you've lost something intrinsic to your humanity. What you happened? What happened here is that I, uh, I made some uh, Holocaust jokes. Yeah. Uh, and then you ran away, but, like a cowardly Jew. But <laughs> then I left. You had nothing, so you could complain about my, my Holocaust jokes all. I life. was on my way to buildings, and then you came back and distracted me. Let's put that one in quotation marks, folks. I was on my way to building something, then you came back and distracted me. Sounds a little bit like what Jesus said to his dad. Oh, dad! Why did you call me home so early? I was just about to solve everything. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, son, it's way past your curfew. Yeah. You I sent you there for 30, I sent you there for 15 years. You're supposed to have solved everything by now. Why aren't you dead yet? 15 years? Yeah, but then he stuck around for another 30. Do you know uh, Jesus died at age 85? Really? Yeah, it's a it's a myth. If you read your bi your Bible carefully enough, you'll find that in fact my Bible just talks a lot about Satanism. I think you're thinking of the evil Bible. Oh no, I was thinking of um oh what is it? Uh, oh, I lost. I had a joke and I lost it. I'm terrible at this. Yeah, stop losing jokes. Everyone, look at my junk part. What are you doing? Uh, this is an important one-off joke. <laughs> this, this episode is Blake poorly constructs jokes, but it takes a long time and I'm not allowed to do anything in between those moments. Just do them. Just do something. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't have anything planned. Just do Get, I found Will! I mean, D. Oh, hey Blake. I'm at a plot point. Who cares? I can't believe it! The statues! The statues? No, oh, there's not their voices. 
Some faint letters are carved in the back of the stone figures. Say, old man, what else can you tell about these goddesses? They quite literally created magic as we know it. So they're the goddesses of magic then? You, you could say that. That would be stupid. <laughs> I can feel their power. The statues are the source of all magic. It's said that the Aspers made these images and put them into something. These represent power beyond all comprehension. Our Aspers no doubt came to the island to bask in all the magical power. Say, old timer, what happened to the stone goddesses? Legend has it they're beyond the. Uh, what? I wonder if the barrier protects us. People is keep interrupting by me. You, stone goddesses. You, you, you got your full line of dialogue in, and mine was cut <laughs> short. What a story! You dumb bitch! If the Aspers are attracted here by the statues, they must be around here somewhere. Nope, not right there. <laughs> I think it's worth a look. And look, you can actually read them. The birth of magic. Three goddesses were banished here in times when they began crawling. They fled out to an all-out war. Those unlucky humans who got in the way were transformed into espos and used as living war machines. The espos who created these statues were a symbol of their vow to let the goddesses sleep in peace, yo. The weapons have espos have sworn to keep the goddesses' power from being amused by the white Mexican. Goddesses finally... No, keep going. Realize that they will be laughed at by those who banish them there. In a rare moment of mutual clarity, they agreed People have turned this episode off. <laughs> the last ounce of energy! They gave the Esprits back their own free will and transformed themselves into stone. The only question is that the Esprits kept them sealed away for all eternity. There you go. That's the whole backstory. That's the end of the game. That's the end of the game. So next time on Super Spirits Brothers, we'll be playing Final Fantasy VII, because we beat this one. By that, I mean I hit my child with a small switch. Where are you switch? You want to keep your putties. Like, you can level up. <laughs> the only way to level up your child is to beat them. Spare the rod, and the child will turn into mushy grapes. <laughs>